Jeremy Bentham, born 1748, died 1832, was an English philosopher, jurist, and social reformer known for his advocacy of utilitarianism, the idea that the best action is the one that maximizes overall happiness, or in other words, the greatest happiness of the greatest number. Bentham's work has had a lasting influence on philosophy, economics, law, and politics. He's also known for legal and social reforms, economic and political ideas, and for our purposes today, the Panopticon. The Panopticon conceived by Jeremy Bentham in the late 18th century is an architectural design intended for institutions such as prisons, schools and hospitals. The concept revolves around the idea of a central observation point from which all inmates or residents can be watched without them knowing if they are being observed. This design aims to create a sense of constant surveillance, encouraging self-regulation and order, as you can see from the picture the central observation tower and the circular architecture of the prison system so that every prisoner feels that they're being watched from the central cell efficiently by a single warden. <clears throat> so key features of this panopticon, the, the central observation tower located at the center of a circular building this tower allows a single guard to observe all inmates or residents without being seen. The windows of the tower are designed with blinds or shutters to, to obscure the guard's visibility. Another feature is the radial arrangement. Cells or rooms are arranged in a circular fashion around the observation tower. The, this design ensures that each inmate or resident is isolated and visible from the central point. Another feature is visibility and isolation. Each cell or room is designed to be open to the central tower, but the occupants cannot see the guard. This creates a psychological effect where individuals behave as if they are constantly being watched. Another feature, or sorry, uh, an objective and theoretical underpinning, one would be surveillance and control. The primary objective of the Panopticon is to enable efficient surveillance with minimal resources. This design ensures that a single guard can monitor many inmates. The other objective would be behavior modification. The constant possibility of observation is intended to promote, promote self-discipline and good behavior among inmates as they are never certain when they are being watched. Also efficiency. The Panopticon's design is meant to maximize the efficiency of the institution, reducing the need for a large number of guards or supervisors. So, while Bentham's Panopticon was never fully realized in his time, its principles influenced the design of several prisons in the 19th century. Hospitals and schools, the concept was also proposed for use in hospitals and schools to allow for constant observation of patients and students respectively. Then modern surveillance, the Panopticon has become a powerful metaphor for modern surveillance practices, especially with the advent of digital technologies that enable continuous monitoring. Influence on philosophy and social theory. Michel Foucault being foremost, the French philosopher Michel Foucault extensively analyzed the Panopticon in his book Discipline and Punish. 
used it as a metaphor for modern disciplinary societies where surveillance and the threat of being watched extend beyond physical institutions to various aspects of life. Social control, the panopticon, is often re referenced in discussions about the balance between security and privacy, illustrating the ways in which surveillance can be used as a tool for social control. Some of the criticisms and controversies, the first would certainly be ethical concerns. Critics argue that the panopticon's design can lead to dehumanizing conditions and violate violates individuals' rights to privacy and dignity. And then secondly, power dynamics. The structure creates a significant power imbalance between the observer and the observed, raising concerns about abuse of power. Some modern interpretations. The concept of the panopticon continues to be relevant in contemporary discussions about surveillance particularly with the rise of digital surveillance technologies that allow for constant monitoring of individuals' activities online and offline. So in summary, Jeremy Bentham's Panopticon is a significant concept in the history of architecture, philosophy, and social theory. It highlights the impact of surveillance on behavior and the complex interplay between power, control, and freedom.